Okay, and this one, I don't know if it's going to show up, but it looks light. Normally I have the uh, 35 gear on the stud and the 70 on the gearbox here. I had to switch them around, so I've got the 35 out on the gearbox and the 70 in on the stud there. So with them the other way, the way I originally have them, I can only get down to 8 threads per inch, and these are going to be 6 threads. So we go over here to the 6. So looks like the light's wrong for seeing that. Get over here to the six threads per inch. We got the lever set in the compound at 29 and a half degrees. And I'm cutting an internal thread so I've got it set to the left instead of to the right like you would for an external. And the cross light I've got zeroed, got them both zeroed now, and got the dial indicator zeroed. Got a one inch boring bar in there. Now this is actually a carbide bit I've got in there. I didn't take time to grind the high speed steel, but I had good luck with the carbide before too. So get the camera set up on the tripod and, and go to it.
bridge and they checked in the back of the fishtail. It's got the chart here. You go down to six threads per inch, it's 217 thousandths total. So that'd be 108 and a half to take off each side, and I'm at about you know, 98 right now. And just for the hell of it. You can see it almost wants to start, but not quite. That's just a piece I made because the only way I can check it otherwise is to take it off the take the chuck off the lathe and put it on there. fit on this test piece. Check it out. I've got a face plate that I tried it in and everything that way. Checked it out with the plate on the chuck. Made sure that it was a good snug fit so I knew on this. That it, so hopefully it'll work right. <laughs> Thanks for watching.